Now sometimes, despite your best efforts, you still have no idea what some number is. In this case, a useful trick to get yourself unblocked is geometric bracketing. Here's the basic idea. Try and find, guess a number way too big, up the top somewhere. Something that's ridiculously big. And then start shrinking it, shrinking it, until it's no longer ridiculously big. Now guess a number that's ridiculously small. Enlarge it, and enlarge it, until it's no longer ridiculously small. So now you know your true answer is going to be somewhere in the range here, which might be a very big range if you don't know very much. Then what you do, if you've got the high value and the low value, is you take the geometric mean. Now what's a geometric mean? You know, the normal mean is you take high plus low and divide by 2. That's not what we're doing here. We're doing the geometric mean, which is the square root of high times low. It turns out that this is equivalent to averaging the power. So if the low, for example, was 10 to the 3 and the high was 10 to the 5, then the geometric mean is going to be 10 to the 4. So the power is going to be the normal mean of the high and low. If we had, say, 10 to the 4 and 10 to the 5, then we'd have 10 to the 4.5 in here, if it was 4 over there. So you just average the power, or take the whole number and do the geometric mean. Let's give an example of that. Let's imagine I'm trying to estimate how wide Sydney Harbour is. Now that's not a number I know. In fact, there probably isn't an exact number because it would depend exactly where in Sydney Harbour you're measuring. But we're only after an order of magnitude figure. Now, luckily, I've been to Sydney Harbour. How far is it to the other side here? Well, let's try bracketing. What's a ridiculously big number? Let's say a thousand kilometres. That's much too big. A thousand kilometres is the distance from Sydney to Brisbane, much bigger than the harbour. How about 100 kilometres? Well, if it was 100 kilometres across, that would be all the way from Sydney to the well beyond the Blue Mountains. That's also a bit too big. If it was 100 kilometres across, you couldn't see the other side. And that might work for the mouth of the Amazon, but it's clearly much too big for Sydney Harbour. How about 10 kilometres? Well, it would take me a couple of hours to walk 10 kilometres, but I can walk across the bridge in 10 or 15 minutes. That's also too big. One kilometre? Now, that's not ridiculous anymore, I'd say. It could be a kilometre. I think that's probably still a bit big, but that's plausible. OK, let's pick up the small side. How about uh, one metre? One metre is one step. No, that's much too small. Ten metres? Ten metres is ten steps, five people's height. Um, also clearly rather too small. How about a hundred metres? Well, I think that's probably still a bit small, but it's no longer ridiculous. So these are our brackets. It's more than 100 metres, less than a kilometre. So that's 10 to the 3 metres and 10 to the 2. So the geometric mean is going to be 10 to the 2.5, which is about 300 metres. And as it turns out, the Sydney Harbour Bridge is about 500 metres across, so that's not too far wrong.